In first quarter, earnings for Dunkin' Brands fell by 3.5%, but the parent company of Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins is sticking by its full year guidance to help dig deeper into the numbers and give us an idea of what's in the pipeline. I'd like to welcome Dunkin's chairman and CEO, Nigel Travis, back to the show. Um, and hey, thanks, Nigel, for uh, all the. I clearly have quite a feast here. I'm going to have to bring some people on to join me because uh, it would not be a good thing if I ate all this. We've got lots of, lots of donuts on set. Anyway, what happened? I mean, it, what, what, what was this miss about? What happened? Well, uh, it was simple, Trish. We got 55% uh, of our stores in the Northeast Corridor. Uh, you guys live in that area. You know what the winter's been like. The ritual that is so important in our business gets disrupted. It may be that on a Monday you go to the office normally, Tuesday comes along and the school's out or work's out, you don't go out. That for that day is a lost piece of business. It's not like you're going out to dinner with your wife, say, on a Friday night and the weather is bad on that Friday night mm -hmm. and, and subsequently you go out on the Saturday night. So we lose it for that day and it, it would seem that throughout the whole quarter we had storms every single week. Yeah, now, but... The good, the good thing is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, carry on. Well, I would just say, you know, Starbucks just came out with its numbers, um, you know, and it didn't seem to see the same issues uh, as you guys. Is it because you're more uh, concentrated in, say, the Northeast? Uh, absolutely. 55% uh, of our stores are in the Northeast. We've got very aggressive plans to move across the country. Congratulations. Their numbers were good based on the little bit I've seen. But if you actually look at some of the other numbers of some of the other retailers, uh, most of them were negative. Uh, we were actually positive despite that weather. But what I was going to go on to say, we feel really good about our business. We feel good about our operations. We feel good about our marketing programs. And most of all, during this quarter, on the Dunkin' side of our business, we launched our Dunkin' Donuts perks. Uh, we've uh, hit 750,000 perks members. Our mm -hmm. goal for the year is 2.5 million. That's going to continue to drive the loyalty and the frequency that we're so keen to maintain yeah. in our core business. Well, I, I know that it's a competitive landscape right now uh, in terms of the breakfast market. You've got Taco Bell getting into it. You've got Starbucks uh, trying to make a more aggressive play on the food front. Uh, what, are you worried about that at all? Uh, how, do you, how do you counteract that competition? Well, I think we counteract by the way we've always done it. We're not going to be defensive. We're going to be offensive in terms of moving forward with the, with the strongest offense that we can put in, in place. And we think that is continued new products coming out. We're in the iced coffee season now. You've probably seen in our stores, we've got our Baskin uh, Robbins flavors and, and the cookie dough one's doing very nicely. We then move on to new breakfast sandwiches. We've got our Perks mm -hmm. program, which is going to boost loyalty and really yeah. make sure that people stick with Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and, and by the well, way, look, I'm a fan of your coffee for sure, uh, but I know coffee prices have been going through the roof. They've doubled. Sure. Uh, what, what, how, do you, how do you hedge that one? Well, we've effectively hedged it off for the whole year through great work by our franchisee owned DCP, which is the purchasing and distribution set up that we have with our franchisees. Mm -hmm. uh, our franchisees are very, very disciplined about not increasing coffee prices. If we have to increase any prices, it's on highly differentiated products that no one else has. So we feel good. Our franchisees understand the, the benefit of value to our consumers, but at the same time, we've got strong mitigation, mitigation okay. uh, processes in place Let me ask to about overcome expansion. any increase in I know, that, I know that you're expanding, uh, or you're trying to expand uh, some on the West Coast. There's not too many Dunkin' Donuts out there. How's that going? I mean, you think about Dunkin' Donuts, it's got very much a New England uh, identity and brand. How are you expanding? We're expanding very well on our earnings call this morning. We talked about the cash on cash returns of our new stores across the country, including the West. They look very good. We've got great franchisees. I recently spent some time out in the West. We've got really good operators. Uh, we actually announced today that we're going into California with our traditional stores earlier than expected, late this year rather than next year. Uh, there's an awful lot of people on the West Coast who write to us, email us, send Twitter messages, etc., wanting Dunkin' Donuts on the West Coast. We feel very good about our expansion. And all the doubters who said 
that we couldn't deliver the same kind of margins for our franchisees are being proved wrong. So All our right. Western expansion is going extremely okay, well. Okay, we're going to watch for it. Hey, thanks for the donuts, Nigel. <laughs> hey, Trish, enjoy. All right.